Hi, this is Boynton Stew, and today I'm going to show you a few of my latest inventions concerning water, how to prevent water damage to your home due to water leaks, and how to control the water. Right now, sink that you see, faucet that you see, is on the on position, but there's no water coming through it. This is a remote control, similar to what you have in your car. It's got an on-off switch. Let's turn it on. And we can turn it off. Probably wondering what this is. Well, this is the fail-safe. I call this my Canon switch because it kind of looks like a cannon barrel and what we have here is a mercury switch this mercury switch is right now in the on position if water hits this sponge over here the switch or the cannon barrel will lean down and when that leans down that switch will open and when that switch opens the water will turn off you can put that switch by your hot water heater. You could put the switch by your washing machine to prevent the hose from bursting and ruining your house with that big flood. You could put it under your sink. You could put it behind your refrigerator for the ice maker, etc. So assume that we have water running in the house. And I'm going to then pour some water on the sponge because we could imagine locating this cannon switch anywhere that water might leak and what ha I'm going to show you what happens when that sponge gets wet. So I'm going to turn on the water. Put a little water in a cup. Now I'll try to do it from the back so you can see what happens. And that's all it takes to control a leak in your house. If there's no pressure, you can't have a leak. You'll also save water because if there's no pressure during the night and your toilet tank empties and fills up and empties and fills up, you'll both have the noise and you'll waste water due to the leak. So there it is, the cannon switch and the water control system.